Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to another video. So first thing I just wanted to say is I'm sorry for lack of videos, I've been kind of busy. And in this video, what I want to do now is I want to show you guys this awesome vanilla mechanic that is just beautiful in terms of getting obsidian. Now I'm going to show you guys here in vanilla Minecraft first, as you guys can see on 1.74, no mods, nothing, no forge or anything, so this is legit vanilla Minecraft. So there's no trickery here or anything. And then I'm going to jump over into modded Minecraft, which is um, which I've got quite a few mods in. And I'm going to show you guys a way to actually automate this system, which is cheap and it does not require lava or water to make the obsidian, which is very neat. Not many people know this, but it's pretty cool. So what it is, is this is just a regular old cobblestone generator, as you can see. You break it, whatever, blah, 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 cobblestone. Have a little break and place a redstone. You guys can see the redstone is converting into obsidian. Now there's another mechanic that actually a friend told me, and uh, we kind of came across when I had my server, like this is quite a while back, and I used to play on a server, and we were going with it, and I'm like, man, I wish there was a better way to make obsidian. Now there's a vanilla, so uh, once I switch over to mod, I'm going to show you guys the igneous extruder from Thermal Expansion. And a way that you can make obsidian through in the igneous extruder is basically one uh, lava bucket and one water bucket can make one obsidian. That's normal Minecraft. But this is also vanilla, which is interesting because redstone, yes, it still does require down pickaxe to break. However, you could automate this very easily. In vanilla, not so much. But in modded, you can. So I just want to show you guys this quickly in vanilla. So you guys saw that this is actually vanilla mechanic, mechanic not mod or anything. Um, and then, yeah, it's me squinting around here. But it's honestly a very awesome mechanic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly switch over to modern, and I'll be back in a second. So, now what we've done is, what I've set up here is actually just using the mod open blocks, the block breaker and the block placer. I've set it up in this manner. So I'm going to explain to you what happens. So basically the block placer, and just once it receives redstone signal, is going to place a uh, redstone right there. And the block breaker has no interface, but once it's done, it's going to break and it's going to place it in there. So let's do this quickly, do this. Which, and you hear that, and there you go. So we've essentially automated it. Now the recipes for these are, uh, you do need a diamond pickaxe, so there's no way of really cheating out of the diamonds. This still require diamonds, but it's awesome. So I'm going to explain to you how I set this up. So what it is, is you have redstone connecting to the both, and you must have this repeater here, because when the block breaks, you want to have just that quick tick delay so before it places it, so to make sure that the block's actually gone before it places. For example, if I did not have this here, let me grab some redstone. Sometimes it it doesn't place it and it just it gets messy. It's not. I mean, yeah, I guess you could go without it, but it's kind of messy. And sometimes you can see that it doesn't place. It, it just it's messy. I mean, it does work, but it's kind of messy. It doesn't really work too well with that one extra tick delay. It works much smoother, and you know you're not making up. And as you can see, there was a redstone there because of what happened. So now, if you have like red power or something, you don't need to have this all. You can just have it all manual. Just have a timer. I like to have it on a two-second delay because sometimes one second can be a little bit too quick. As you can see there, mind the redstone because it just it was too quick. So I like to only have it on a two-second delay. But yes, you can speed this up. And you don't need red power. Just any form of timer. For example, the um, what's it called? MFR. Okay, fine. Um, Rednet, that's what it is. The uh, red programmable Rednet control, you can set up a timer through that using um, Mine Factory Reloaded. So this is just one awesome way to get uh, obsidian, which is, in my opinion, cheaper than using lava. Yes, you can set up a pump in the nether, but lava will always run out. Redstone will too, but because the Minecraft world is so much bigger. Also, if you have quarries going, I don't know, I think reds also, everyone always has two extra redstone, which is just useless. I mean, it, it's not really a free source of it, but it, it's personally a much cheaper way. Now, the one thing you can still do with the Ignis Extruder is make uh, regular smooth stone, which you can't automate. I mean, if you had Silk Touch, you can, but it doesn't really work because there's no way of putting Silk Touch on a block breaker, sadly. But if you uh, had Silk Touch, you could. But basically what you do with this is stone is uh, you need one bucket of water and one bucket of lava, but you only ever use the bucket of water, so you basically just have an infinite water source pumping into this, and you can have uh, smooth stone. So that's the one thing the Agency Extruder is still useful for. But otherwise, that's basically all I wanted to show you guys in this video. Again, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, and this video I know is quite short, just I really want to show you guys this awesome way of making obsidian, because I've noticed a lot of um, 
people that use mods, it, like a lot of the bigger YouTubers, when they um, make obsidian gens and everything, they're always doing it using redstone and water. For example, Direwolf20, whenever he does his um, obsidian gens, he's always using the Ignis Extruder. And it's kind of annoying to me because there's another way to do it. And I'd like to see him maybe figure out these other ways and maybe use different methods of getting things. He always tries to automate using different mods, yes, but he's always essentially making the items in the same way, which is, again, you need a variety. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did like this, please leave a comment and also do rate this video because uh, thumbs up is always appreciated. So for now, I'll see you guys all later. and.